most anxiety triggering thing I think in the entirety of New York City for me. It's like yeah. the Wall Street uh, uh, of sandwiches. Yes. When you walk in, do you have to be like, "Yo, I want this on this right away"? Well, the first thing they do is take you completely off guard, and they hand you a ticket and say, "You may not lose this. This ticket <laughs> is how you pay." And and it's like, even if you don't buy anything, you can't lose this ticket. It's extremely important. So already, I'm like, "All right, what? What? What are we doing here?" No pressure. <laughs> And then you think you're getting online to buy a sandwich, and then this guy is yelling at you, don't all get online for line one, there's six cutters, go down the line, go down the line. Mm -hmm. And there's about 500 people all vying for some line you can't even see, because people are everywhere, and you don't know what the hell's happening. It's very scary. It sounds like they need signs. They, they have signs. They got, they got that old. guy, they don't need a sign. Just employ this one guy to do the job of a sign. He clearly enunciated what was going on. He said, there's six cutters. Yeah. So I got on the line, and there's a lot of people ahead of me, of course, because that's the way New York City always is. And a lot of people around me that I didn't know what they were trying to do or where they were going. Uh, you get up to the front, you got to have your order ready to go, and you got to hand the guy the ticket, and you say, all right, I want a, a pastrami on rye with mustard. And then he'll put up this little plate, and he puts a couple of samples of pastrami, and then uh, you gotta wait for him to cut your thing up, and and then you're cut, good. He cuts your dick off. <laughs> he cuts your dick. Cut off. your thing up, real good. And then you find out at the end you gotta order your drink somewhere else. I want an egg cream because I'm a weirdo, so I found what out. Is oh, what is that? Egg <laughs> cream? Deli ordering an egg cream. They had egg creams. Of course, I want an egg cream. I want a traditional New York egg cream. What the hell is so that? You know where the sodas egg are distributed. Cream. The soda guy's like, no, you gotta go back up to the front of the house for the egg creams. Each one of those things was a line, so it's like it's taking you 20 minutes to get your sandwich, so you can sit down in this room where no one can walk or move. It's really weird. How mm. was the sandwich, though? Sandwich was delicious. Okay, but the well, experience it was a $20 it. pastrami sandwich. Right, yeah. What? Well, Katz is like, it's world famous. Yes. Even I'm familiar with it. I'm sure when Rob gets on the call, he will regale you with all the stories of the world to do with Katz. <sighs> Twenty dollars. That's like a, I can get a pizza for that. Yeah, a whole could you get pizza. The world's best pizza for that. Well, no, that probably costs more, but it's not a sandwich. The it volume was of food. The best uh, pastrami on rye I've ever had, but also I didn't think I needed the best pastrami on rye in my life that badly mm -hmm. anyway. Does that make sense? It was a cool experience. I was glad to, to go. It just was very anxiety triggering for me. So this is like slightly tangential to what you were yeah. talking about, about getting your dick cut off. But yeah, there was okay. a, a police standoff in Vancouver yesterday, and it was at a McDonald's. Well, I was on the R Vancouver thread for it, and you have to take this with a grain of salt. I'm, I'm not taking the position that this really happened, but dude said, hey, one of my buddies is a cop, and he was at this, said one of the perps got the tip of his dick shot off, and it was just sitting in the parking lot. <laughs> and I said to myself, what a wonderful world. Yeah. <laughs> How does the <laughs> tip survive? You're getting the tip of your dick shot off in a police shootout, or probably low, but if they're firing enough shots in enough situations, it's got to happen at some point, right? No? How does the dick not just, like, evaporate in air or, like, end up well, just explode into pieces? I was sort of thinking, like, maybe he had a boner. Like, that's the most likely <laughs> way to just get yeah. the tip and, and yeah. not much of the rest, right? Is the... <laughs> he had an adrenaline yeah. boner. <laughs> yeah, he had like an adrenaline boner from having a fight with the cops and the tip of his dick shot off. Not Which shot would off. make it worse. Then would it be like a volcano or something? Like, how do... I imagine that probably put a stop to the shootout pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it turned into an active volcano. Yeah, just, but, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Feels bad, man. Magma. We could hot magma, baby. We could magma. Thank you, Swagmaster Pimpington, for the subscription as well as Franco One of One for the five months. <laughs> and that's definitely like something you're not gonna see in the CBC News report of that story. It'll be like you know one of them was taken to hospital <laughs> with non-life-threatening injuries. They're not gonna say, "Whoa, shit! Boy got the tip of his dick Thank shot." Thank you a lot, Captain. Oh shit! It's that dick. I love you. Mmm, sausages. Mmm, and strami. And dick warfare. 
Seriously though, what the fuck is an egg cream? Wait, it looks asking the right questions. All right. I don't know why it's that big of a weird oh, thing. What, what is it? It's uh, it's soda and and uh, chocolate syrup. If you get a chocolate. That's called an. Egg. Why would they call this an egg? Cream? Yeah, I'm like, what do they do with the egg? They just put the it's, yolk in, or or what? It's not, there's no actual egg. It's a, it's like a. Creamy. There's no egg or cream. Hang on a second. Let me just get. I can go make that shit right now upstairs. What do you need to make an egg cream? Well, I've already got eggs and cream on the list. Hey, Hang hold on. up right there. Don't even bother. All you need is a Pepsi and it's, some chocolate syrup. An egg cream is a beverage consisting of milk, carbonated water, and chocolate syrup. The drink contains neither eggs nor cream. What in the world are, is this world coming to? Milk, it's carbonated like, water, and what? Chocolate syrup? Carbonated water, chocolate syrup, and milk. It's like... What? Where's the soda? You know the malt places, like, in the 50s that, like, Joni and Chachi would hang out at, or, like, the Fonz would be at the jukebox? It's like one of those types of drinks. Hmm. I'm aware of that, but I'm still trying to get over the fact that... The egg cream has neither egg nor cream in it. Yeah. I, mean, I was I was thinking egg, that egg cream egg was egg. like I thought it was like a like a soda with an egg cracked in it, and then like I don't know. I, yeah, was I don't to even know. Went from there, like maybe they used like a blowtorch to make like a meringue on top. Or something like a like creme that. brulee soda. I'm not making it up. You chat saying I'm making it up. Just look up <laughs> an egg cream. It's a pretty common thing. It tastes good in my opinion. Not everybody likes it, but that's fine. Thanks for the five months, Church Foxfire. Can you investigate the Wikipedia article more? Because I guarantee there has to be like a culinary historian who's like, this is why it's called a fucking egg cream. <laughs> well, there is a section called Origin Theories and Speculation. Yes, okay. So. I would love to know more about this. Most writing on the egg cream assumes that it originated in New York City, and most often that it originated among Eastern European Jewish immigrants. This has led to a variety of claims meant to explain widely noted paradox that the New York City egg cream is made with neither eggs nor cream. One theory is that grade A milk was used in its creation, leading to the name a chocolate A cream. We don't want to get into talking about A cream. <laughs> chocolate mm. A cream. Oh, excuse me, uh, can I have a pastrami sandwich and a chocolate A cream, please? Okay, you're gonna like this next sentence. Uh, thus sounding like an egg cream. Stanley Oster, the grandson of the beverage's alleged inventor, has been quoted as saying that the origins of the name are lost in time. Oh. One commonly accepted origin <laughs> is that the egg is a corruption of the German and also found in Yiddish word echt, uh, genuine or real, and this was a, quote, good cream. Mm. That's it's spelled E C H T. So if you want to describe a good cream, that's E C H T. You can feel free to write that in uh, Ryan's chat about three thousand times. Now. Uh, it goes on for a while, but I can stop there if you'd like. Is that the same Stan Lee from the Marvel comics? Stan, Thank Stan you, Sar Song. Welcome. Like the middle name is Lee. Yes. Let's Dude, name our baby dumb. Bacon. It's, it's Stan. This reminds me, like, probably like once every Thank two years, I go down the rabbit hole. I'll look up Three like months, Waldorf babe. salad on Wikipedia. There's like a hotly contested, like, who invented the fucking Waldorf or the the Cobb the salad? Cobb. Yeah, the Cobb salad is like, there's like international tribunals that are like, we're is gonna solve this. The Cobb with the mayo. Cobb <sighs> is the one that has like a bacon and like. And uh, eggs. yeah, the eggs and the, like ham sometimes, I think. Like, yeah, I believe it can have cubed ham in it as well. Cubed ham. It just has, mm -hmm. like, straight-up mayo in it, though. That's Ugh. every, every salad in the United States of America. Um, is, does honey mustard potato have potato mayo salad. in it? I love potato salad. I meant, like, a green salad, though, not, like, a uh, turkey or chicken mix or potato mix or something like that. I usually eat honey mustard or some kind of vinaigrette, which doesn't have any. Oh, like yeah. the islands. That's definitely got mayo in it. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Yeah. Did I'm you know that great. Russian dressing is just mayonnaise mixed with ketchup? That's uh, the special secret sauce. Yeah, it's also McDonald's special sauce. There might mm -hmm. be another ingredient I'm not aware of, but I really gotta say, like, kudos to the Russian dressings, uh, like, branding team. Because if yeah, you just called that, like, like, matchup or something like that, you'd never put that on your salad. Macho. Catch, catch a mm -hmm. You know, that's not gonna catch work. Catch a naze. You gotta catch a naze. <laughs> it's got a ring to it. 
gotta catch your maze. Not something I want on my sandwich, though. Sounds like a Russian sneezing dressing. disease. Alright, Europe, European continental dressings. Russian, Italian, or French? French. French. What? Yep. I love my French. French dressing? Yep. Which one's which one's French dressing? It's got like a tangy zestiness to it. Yeah, it's like orangish. Yo, I'm all about that Italian dressing, man. Italian's pretty good too, though. It's a vinaigrette. It is. I like the, I like balsamic as well. Sometimes. More like vinegar regret. There's no vinegar regret unless you put too much of it, which is not possible. <laughs> Actually, I do love dipping some bread into some vinegar balsamic mix. Oh, that's yeah. really good. That's like the test of are you at a restaurant? That's uh, <laughs> that's too expensive. <laughs> uh, yeah, you might you be can right. Dip bread. Like, Would you want some bread? And you're like, yeah, I gotta use this as a barometer for what the bill's gonna be. <laughs> and then bring it out with the balsamic and the olive oil, and you're like, oh. We're in the upper range. We're in the three dollar <laughs> bill mark on Google Maps range. Yeah, exactly. We we ain't in that one dollar bill shit anymore. We aren't at Joe's <laughs> shawarma mart. I would check that out. That's a fun. Dude, it's got a, it's got a four point nine. On the Richter scale. <laughs> on the Richter scale. Wait, what was the name of that uh, clothing store we went to? It was like Utter Domination or something? Oh. Yeah, what was the punk store? Hang on, we just gotta check the name. I think you, that you guys would be into this place. Search and Destroy. Search yeah, I don't know. I, I heard that as Utter Domination in my mind. That's alright. So it's, it's like a... Call of Duty game modes. <laughs> It's like in a hipster section in New York City, like in the Lower East Side, I think it is. Why do you think and we'd be about this? <laughs> I think you would love it, because when you get in there, well, it says fuck you on the bag, for one thing. Alright, oh. yeah, that's, well, someone's trying too hard. Yeah. Fuck the system, wake up the silent majority, see, search, and destroy. Ignore mm. heroes, live your life. This is on All the right. bag they give you when so you So they're, they're gonna, they're gonna shut down the, the <laughs> attritions. How much was the t-shirt, though? How much was the t-shirt? 25. That's actually not terrible. No, that's, that's not bad. In a fairly realistic price range. I can't. Yeah. Thirty's I mean, pushing it. If the T-shirt was like a hundred dollars, then you'd be like, well, it sounds like your wake up the silent massive stuff is kind yeah. of falling on deaf ears. Well, so the first thing you see when you walk in is there's a, a dildo basket. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And mm. around the corner from that is, is, is it a special dildo basket or is it just a normal basket that full of dildos? dildos. It was a skull basket full of dildos. Was it a okay. human skull? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. And then to the right of that was a nude mannequin with its legs spread open with full woman anatomy. Uh, which mm. I, I presume okay. that was to try the dildos out on. Can and I Rob ask you did. a question? Could yes. you fuck it? If you were uh, in the right mood, yeah, absolutely. Like, they wouldn't be like, hey, stop fucking the mannequin. Oh, I thought you meant, like, could you physically? No, I, th I don't think they wanted you. You're asking if you could just do it right there. Yeah, just hypothetically. Not, not hypothetically, yeah. If nobody was looking. And there was bondage gear like hanging from the ceiling. There was like a, hmm. was, like, a cut open okay. pig and like a bunch of corpses. <laughs> oh my god, that's... <laughs> yeah, that's my new favorite place. Yeah, so you can see now why I thought you would like it, right? The bondage gear is for the pigs. Like, just go to the gap, honestly, most of the time. <laughs> Hot Topic's pushing it for like. me. Is it? Yeah, I don't even like being in like zest or what is not zest, uh, lush. Oh, that place, the handmade yeah, bath, like bath bombs. bombs and stuff. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. yo, this is a little too violent for me right now. It's very fruity, smelling. Like, say something. Do you have some like bath rubber bullets or something like that? Or some <laughs> bath pepper spray, perhaps? Some bath blanks in case there's too many bullets on the screen. Exactly. It's not a fun time without a mannequin exposing itself. Did you have to be, like, over the age of 18 to come into the store? No, not at all. They did not check at all. Huh. All right. You gotta wake everybody up, man. Little kid came in, but I, they didn't seem to care very much at all about anything. I mean, I'm not saying they shouldn't be allowed to do it. I'm just a little surprised at the craziness. On their uh, store displays, too, like, on the signs above the racks was just, like, actual pornography with words over it. Hmm. It was just, like, a woman getting fucked with, like, <laughs> T-shirts written over it. <laughs> oh, okay. I like, like their they were, advertising. 
the word t-shirts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. No, I've got it. You crafted a very evocative picture of this place. I, I know everything about this establishment, its neighborhood, its staff, its clientele. I, you have built a world that I now can inhabit at any time of my choosing. I just need to take pictures next time. But will you inhabit it, though? I think it's staffed by the kind of people who are, like, one order higher than your average hipster. So they don't eat, like, you know, they're not like, this is a temple burger. They're like, I eat Big Macs, ironically. Like, they're at that level of hipster, though. Which I'm okay with, honestly. Do they sell egg creams? No. <laughs> not the kind that counts, anyway. You might want to check that doll up front. I thought you said dollop. Do the dollop. There might be a dollop, the dollop in the doll. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I'm 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 just finishing off this Azazel run. I have probably like five minutes left. Okay. But it'll it'll be done. Chad, has anyone in chat been to the store that we're talking about right now? Because I'd love to hear your opinions and how they differ or, or align with mine. There's, uh, there's a very destroy. similar sounding shop in Vancouver called Bang On, which is like... They sell like pictures with like Napoleon's face on it and stuff, and they always Napoleon have like a dynamite. <laughs> yeah, I wish, man. And then they just like you know have a dude outside spinning a sign, but it's like you know vintage, retro. I don't know if they tell you to fuck yourself when you walk in. That's, <laughs> that's like a step too far. We still believe the customer is always right up here. I would love to go there. <laughs> Good old Canada. I've been watching your Big Brother, and it is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, it's uh. What, what are the cultural differences that you can notice from Big Brother? So, you have, like, places that like to advertise a lot more, and they'll give, like, more prizes away from, like, sponsored people, like The Brick. I've never even heard oh, of that fuck place. The Brick, dude. Yeah, it's... I've never heard of that place before, but they have a lot of sponsorship from them. Big box, like, furniture store. They'll have more things that let the country vote and interfere as well with shit, whereas right. Big Brother, it's more like fair even though it's not really fair i mean it's you know i gotta be honest we love democracy up here yeah well we just had a census like willingly i heard you got charged if you didn't fill one of those out in time you you can get fined if you don't fill out the census this is correct i had friendly other friendly canadians telling me this yeah it's in other it's, conversations i wouldn't say it's a big deal but it's like a deal for sure i don't even remember the last time we ever had a census was maybe i should go check my mail I keep forgetting that, like, people send me mail that's important now that yeah. I'm, you know, over yeah. 18 for 12 years. They're like, hey, pay your taxes, and you're like, oh, right. Yeah, and like, vote and the, get these credit cards. That's the shit. We, we just bought new phones, and I'm, like, already buying a phone from this phone company. And they're like, hey, just so you know, you get like 25 bucks off the phone if you sign up for the, this credit card. And I'm like, how about you sign up for my dick in your butt? I don't want, I didn't say, I just said, uh, we'll pass. But like, <laughs> right, right, right. But at the time I was like, yo, you're trying, you're, you're preying on people here. Save 25 bucks, uh, you know, here's a chance to spend your whole lifetime in debt, basically. I oh, get you so got you a, more restraint than that. Well, I, I mean, I, I agree, but I'm just saying. They got to upsell. They're upselling, exactly. I'm already, I'm already spending a nice chunk of change on this telephone and a two-year yeah. contract, and then trying to sell me a, trying to sell me a credit card. It's the you fucking got... Empire State Building all over again. It is the Empire State <laughs> Building all over again. They're like, hey, you went to the 86th floor. Do you want to go to the 102nd? Also, there's a gift shop you've got to walk through as you leave. Fuck yeah. Oh, I hate the forced yeah. gift shops. Always where the exits through it. That gift shop, no doubt. Those are the worst. We yeah, went to like totally some museum to before and did that. And, you have no choice. and then at the end of they go like, hey, it's like 30 bucks. It's $10. Yeah. For real. Lynn actually asked the dude, can we not take the photo? And she's and the guy was just like, just pose for the photo. <laughs> <laughs> Probably gets asked that 800 times a day. Uh, he was that's in a very good mood though. Strikes me as a very uh, New York City attitude of things. <laughs> Can we not pose for that? How about you just pose for the fucking photo? <laughs> well, you trying to give me a hard time here? Yeah, hey, I'm working here. <laughs> exactly. I'm working. <laughs> Museums need money. Yeah. We didn't buy the picture. We have our own cameras. See, that would have been great if we'd been like, how about you pose for our photo? We oh, all have cameras here. You know that. 
Hey, Joe, somebody in here brought their own camera. Yeah, there's a fee for that. With, actually, I bet we there went, is. Uh, wow. We went to Japan, we went to a couple of museums, and they were like, on this floor, you can't use your own camera. And I was like, dude, I don't know if you know this, but museums, they're not dragging in the kids the way they used to back in the post-war era. <laughs> you, museums could use all the good press they can get. If I take a picture of some sweet shit and I'm like, check it out, it's at this museum, you should be stoked. Not like, oh, I guess I don't need to go to that museum anyway. Well, let's mm -hmm. go to this museum to look at your fucking etchings. It's 2016. Your etchings? <laughs> like... Thousands yeah, like year a, old like a paintings. Century, century <laughs> etching from the Tokugawa shogunate. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. Don't take a photo of it, though. We'd hate for people to know it exists. <laughs> yeah. It's actually kind of surprising to me. They've really, really eased up on the no photography in museums. Uh, there was, I mean, I saw a Starry Night by Van Gogh, and it was just like there for you to walk up to. It was no big deal. Properly. Aren't flashes no, no, no. supposed to deteriorate the quality or something more quickly, or Flash something like that? Damage art, you asshole. Yeah. This, actually. Uh, yeah. Well, but I guess it's... that's why I, every time I go into a museum, those little freaking lights are off. That's probably <laughs> overly reductive. But I think they've gotten to the point where they're apathetic because they just can't stop people from taking cell phone camera pictures. I'm doing well, guys. Thanks for asking. I should say no flash, if that's the problem. Not no cameras. Didn't say anything. You can just do what you want, as far as I can tell. Thank you, Jay Lang, for seven months. Mm. Feels good, man. Sorry, I wouldn't want to damage the, uh, the stone carving of fucking Duke Wellington's tomb. Carved out of fucking granite, but the flash is going to erode it over the course of eternity. You, you can actually take pictures in it. Yeah. In St. Paul's. Not in oh. St. Patrick's, though. Not St. Patrick's. That's only one day in March. What the fuck are these rooms? Yeah, We're doing Gang Beast next, right? Yes. And another one. Sooner than I'd like, probably, based on how this uh, Mega Satan run's going. Thank you for the 777, Lurkiest Lurker. Nice. I've been waiting to say this. To get Nick's reaction on stream. Oh no. Okay, here I go. Overwatch <laughs> is an Undertale. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm Nick. I have reactions. Uh, I, think, I think Overwatch could be a AAA Undertale. I'm Nick. I have of, reactions. There's all sorts of <laughs> user created content about the characters and. People are going like, May is Bay. Like, My reaction is, I'm just happy that there's people who support what we're doing. So thanks for donating uh, that's, to football. That's very true. He's a, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. Mr. Overwatch. He's a good dude. What's going on with this? There's like Thank a lot of Jesse on uh, 89 for the 24 months in a row. That's two freaking years. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Yeah, this is, this is a Great Lady Falls type run here. But why does Great Lady fall? Master Wine. <laughs> Master Wine. No, we never said that, by the Master way. Master Wine. Have you ever been to the Great Lady Falls? They're on the shores of Lake Minnetonka. That's what that by my favorite lake. Oh my god. Link. What is happening? Oh, well, are you okay? Am I a robot? No, the you're... Earth is shaking. You're. You like you're an Skyped into a network news story to give your opinion <laughs> on it, but have never used a desktop microphone before. I I have not changed anything. Now you might be normal. I have not changed any settings. What the fuck? This is why I don't like this place. This place? This yeah. Place? Oh. I, I'm not gonna. I can't. It is a place. <laughs> it's, I it's a place. You got hit by a truck. I thought you were in an earthquake. What yeah, the actually, fuck? Yeah, I was a little concerned that you might have been in an earthquake. I'm sitting so still, like a butterfly, who hasn't spread its wings yet. Okay. Still, I mean, they've they've cocooned at that point. Look, I'm not gonna get in the morphological <laughs> minutia of uh, butterfly lifespans. Okay. Do it. Well, you called it a butterfly. Here's the thing. Actually, it's, it's uh, jackdaw. Are all butterflies at one point caterpillars? Yes. No one's arguing that. All butterflies are jackdaws. Why all so tiny? Super greed. Jack septic's eyes. 
I couldn't not call him Jack Skeptic Eye for the longest time. I don't know why. That's I'm honestly still not problem. sure what it is. It's an Irish guy who plays games. No, I know it's a. I know oh. he is a person. I'm not oh. trying to be offensive to that degree. Oh, why is his eye septic? No, I just mean from a nomenclature standpoint. Is it skeptic or septic? It's, it's definitely septic. Like oh, totally ouch! Gross. Yeah, I guess. I don't know if you would say that, but yeah. Hey, I beat Mega Saiyan and unlocked Black Baby. What's you my... unlocked something. It's it's my third save file, so I guess uh, that's it. But, uh, all right, that's gonna do it for this section. Uh, as long as you guys can go, we got like a three minute buffer period as we get ready to play some games. For now, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you shortly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for 25 months in a row, Eric, Mr. Faustus. Good friend of mine. Have you guys ever seen 13 Samurais? No. Not, I've seen 13 Warriors. The 13th Warrior. I like that movie, actually. With, uh... Actually, it's pretty good as well. Antonio Banderas. Banderas. Yes. <laughs> Did you both say it at the same time? <laughs> you can't not say it like that. Yes. It's, it's the way it has to be done. No, but it's, um... It's like a, a Japanese action flick about samurais. 13 Assassins! My bad. 13 oh, God. Assassins! Wait a minute. It's about... It's, it's like dubbed. It's... I watched that at his house when I went to California, and it was a really good movie. I'm trying to spread the word about it. Takashi Miike film. He also did Audition. Yeah, I felt like making a samurai movie, apparently. I have not seen this, actually. It's a pretty good watch. It's pretty brutal. Spoilers, Tom mm, yeah. Cruise does not appear in this movie. That's the last of 13 Samurais. Tom Cruise? <laughs> the last of the 13 The last of the 13 Samurais. <laughs> <laughs> Mega Satan is dying as well for right now. I'm gonna go run grab my monster and then I'll be gang beast in it. Alright, I'm gonna get some water. Servers online 19, players online 81. Hmm. So that's like four that's about players per server. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, now I just didn't join my accident. Give me a second, I sort this out. Oh, oh how many server, beta keys yeah. they sending out here? They stopped sending so many now because it was getting full. They're servers, right? Yeah, it looks like we might be able to do like a an EU server or something like that. They it would be nice if they added more servers, but I, you know they also got to make the game. Thank you to Jemmy. Shit, yeah, it's Jemmy for the ten dollar tip. I need to bug you about a thing later. Also, did I do water money yet this month? If not, here's water money. If not, here's more water money. Don't forget. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I did actually buy water twice this month, so appreciate it. Also, thank you to my thank you to Nick. Additional info for the $5 tip. I'll explain more because Elu has expressed concern about validity. Oh, this is to do with the speed tip from earlier. The speed stat, stat itself isn't capped. The amount of additional speed from upgrades is capped at one. I guess you'll have to trust I tested it. I trust you. You've given me a lot of good info. 